Here are the top 15 most powerful ice-breaking ships. Number 15. The Tamir Built in 1989 by the former USSR in Helsinki, Finland, the Tamir is one of the largest polar icebreakers ever built, generating its power from a 171-megawatt nuclear reactor and two 18.4-megawatt turbo generators. The ship is extremely strong, as it is able to easily break through two-meter-thick ice while in regular operation. Now, what makes this ship stand apart is that it's a shallow draft vessel, meaning it can operate in areas that are as little as 80 centimeters deep without running aground. As a result, despite it not being the most powerful ship in the Russian fleet, it certainly has a lot of utility. Number 14. The USCGC Polar Star as one of the United States' premier heavy icebreakers, the USCGC Polar Star stands apart not only due to its massive strength, but also due to its advanced technologies. Now, it goes without saying that it's a powerful ship. After all, it's six 3,000-horsepower diesel engines and three 25,000-horsepower gas turbines allow it to travel at a maximum speed of 18 knots while being able to move through 1.8-meter-thick ice at a speed of 3 knots. However, what makes this ship special is that its engines, generators, turbines, and other operation-related tools are all controlled by a computerized propulsion control system, with the ship's navigation being done by computer as well. As a result of this automation, the ship can run effectively with just 136 crew members aboard despite its massive size. Number 13. The Shirase Currently the only icebreaker in the Japanese fleet, the Shirase is certainly an impressive vessel. Completed in 2009, the ship is named after the Shirase Glacier in Antarctica, which is ironic given that the Shirase's main purpose is to break ice. Regardless, she is powered by four diesel electric motors that generate a combined total of 30,000 horsepower, allowing the ship to get to a maximum speed of 19.5 knots while in open water, and at a speed of 3 knots while crushing through 1.5 meter thick ice. As a result, the Shirase certainly is a valuable asset. Number 12. The Vega. Built in 1990 as the sister ship of the Tamir, despite being one year younger, this Russian ship is nearly identical in its specs. After all, not only does it have an identical reactor, generator, and ice-breaking capacity, but the same 21,000-ton weight and 18.5 knot speed. However, the Vega stands out for having a rather serious incident on board. You see, in 2011, a fire broke out aboard the ship due to negligence by a crew member, leaving two dead and another seriously injured. However, despite this terrible tragedy, the fire luckily did not reach the ship's nuclear reactor and was able to remain relatively contained. Number 11. The Odin Built in 1988 for the Swedish Maritime Administration, this ship serves a dual purpose as both an icebreaker for cargo ships in the Gulf of Botnia and as a research vessel. Requiring only 15 crew members to operate, the ship is small but mighty, being able to move at speeds of 3 knots through 1.9 meter thick ice thanks to the power generated from four 4.5-megawatt four engines. However, what really sets this ship apart is that it not only does extensive research in the North and South Poles, but it also has a world record, setting said record in 1991 when it became the first non-nuclear icebreaker to reach the North Pole. It goes without saying that the Odin has retained an amazing legacy to this day. Number 10. The Siber Although not yet fully built, Russia's Siber is set to be one of the most powerful ships on the planet. Made as part of Russian Project 22220, it's essentially a massive nuclear-powered icebreaker. Construction of the Siber began in 2015, and by 2021 it should be fully functional, at which point its two 175-megawatt RITM-200 pressurized water reactors and two 36-megawatt turbo generators will allow it to power through Russia's North Sea route. The plan is that it will be able to move through ice that is as much as 2.8 meters thick, at a continuous speed of about 1.5 to 2 knots, and will be able to run for 7 years before its nuclear reactors are in the need of refueling. When you further consider that Russian news outlet Port News reported that the ship is already 70% complete, it's clear that the Sabir will likely be an Arctic powerhouse in the near future. Number 9. The RV Polar Stern Translating to the Pole Star in English, this German research icebreaker has certainly lived up to its name. Owned by the Alfred Wegener Institute for Polar and Marine Research, it was commissioned in 1981 and built in 1982. 
and since then has primarily been used for scientific expeditions and cruises. Most notably, it attained a world record in 2008 for being the first research ship to ever circumnavigate the North Pole, as it was in this year that the ship traveled through both the Northeast Passage and the Northwest Passage in just one voyage. Now, regarding its icebreaking power, it certainly doesn't disappoint. Featuring four diesel engines with a combined force of 19,000 horsepower, the ship can travel at a maximum speed of 15 and a half knots and can continuously break one and a half meters of ice while going at a speed of five knots. As a result, the RV Polar Stern is the perfect ship for long Arctic voyages. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. The Iqaluk Of all the ships on this list, there are few as well-traveled as the Iqaluk. First built by Nippon Kokan KK in Japanese Surimi shipyard between 1982 and 1983, it was immediately transferred to the Canadian part of the Beaufort Sea where it was used to help break ice in support of oil drilling operations in the area. However, in 1998, the ship was sold to a Russian firm, Smit International, where it acted as a standby assistance ship in the Russian Sea of Okhotsk. It was then sold to a Russian firm, Femco Management, where it served as a standby ship in Singapore until 2018. It was at this point it was purchased by the Chinese firm Cozy Marine, who set it on a research mission to Antarctica as part of a Chinese reality show, On the Road. However, due to the COVID-19 crisis, it's currently not in use and instead docked in Tianjin, China. Yet we're sure that this will change sooner rather than later, after all considering that it has the capability to continuously travel through 1.4 meters of ice, we're sure China will purchase the ship and transfer it to the country's northern seaports sooner rather than later. Number 7. U.S. CGC Healy There are few icebreakers out there that are as impressive as the U.S. CGC Healy. Built in a bilateral agreement by American shipbuilding company Avondale Industries and Finnish engineering firm Kverner Massa Yards Arctic Technology Center, this ship stands out for not just being the most technologically advanced American icebreaker, but also for being the U.S. Coast Guard's largest vessel. Although it was built to primarily serve as a research ship, it also has several other duties, as it has also been used for search and rescue operations, ship escorts, environmental protection, and law enforcement. As such, its icebreaking abilities are simply elite. Being powered by a diesel-electric powertrain that produces 34.5 megawatts of power, it can reach a maximum speed of 17 knots and can break through ice that is as much as 1.4 meters thick on a continuous basis and 3 meters thick in smaller chunks. When you then further consider that it carries two HH-65A Dolphin helicopters and has five scientific labs, it's clear that the US CGC Healy really can do it all. Number 6. The CCGS Lewis S. St. Laurent As one of the flagship vessels of the Canadian Coast Guard, the CCGS Lewis St. Laurent is nothing if not impressive. Classified as a heavy icebreaker, construction of it began in 1966 and was completed by 1969, and even today it's still considered to be the largest and most powerful icebreaker in the Canadian fleet. It primarily serves both as a cargo ship for various remote communities and a research vessel. And in particularly ice-heavy years, it will even act as a navigational ship for cargo barges trying to reach the port of Montreal, Quebec. Regarding its power, it's extremely strong as it uses five Krupp MAK diesel electric engines that can generate a combined total of about 29 megawatts of power. Interestingly, it also has a range of 43,000 kilometers and a max speed of 16 knots, and as a result, is often the ship chosen to tow other large ships that are damaged at sea. As a result, it goes without saying that this Canadian cruiser is pretty incredible. Number 5. The U.S. CGC Mackinac Although not the most powerful icebreaker on this list in regards to icebreaking ability, the U.S. CGC Mackinac stands out due to its status as a weaponized ship. Owned by the United States Coast Guard, it was made to replace the first U.S. CGC Mackinac, which was decommissioned in 2006 after 62 years of service. Now, this ship is stationed in the American portions of the Great Lakes and has a number of duties which include icebreaking for ships trying to travel across the lakes, helping ships navigate the Great Lakes waters, acting as law enforcement, conducting search and rescue missions, and even deploying an oil skimming system to respond to oil spill situations. As a result of its multiple uses, the ship is armed with two medium-sized machine guns and various small arms, making it one of the only weaponized ships on this list. Interestingly, despite its weight of just 3,500 tons, the USCGC Mackinac is also a premier icebreaker. 
powered by two 6.8 megawatt electric azimuth thrusters and a 410 kilowatt bow thruster. The ship can break through ice that is up to 1.7 meters thick and has a great maneuverability due to its ability to turn 360 degrees around its vertical axis with ease in order to redirect its propulsion efforts. Yet despite this, the ship has had its fair share of problems. However, the most notable of them all came on December 12th of 2005, when it accidentally struck a seawall in Grand Haven, Michigan, causing a three-meter dent in the bow of its starboard side. This led to its captain getting permanently relieved from duty, and unsurprisingly, the ship had to undergo repairs afterwards. Regardless, considering that it's still running today, we'd think you'd agree, in the grand scheme of things, this accident was just a minor setback. Number 4. The 50 Let Pobody Translating to 50 Years of Victory in English, the 50 Let Pobody is one of the shining stars of the Russian icebreaker fleet. Construction of this massive ship began on October 4th of 1989 at the Baltic shipyard in modern-day St. Petersburg, Russia. However, due to the lack of funding, the construction was halted in 1994, was restarted in 2003, and was finally completed in 2007. Powered by two 170-megawatt OK-900 nuclear reactors and two 27.6-megawatt steam turbo generators, it stands apart due to it being able to reach speeds of up to 21.4 knots, despite it weighing in at a rather large 23,439 tons. Interestingly, it's also the first Russian icebreaker to use a spoon-shaped bow, which increases the efficiency of the ship's efforts in breaking the ice in front of it. Yet it's this ship's unconventional uses that are perhaps the most interesting. Most notably, it has been used as a cruise ship since 1989 and can carry 128 guests in 64 two-person cabins. As a result, it has a number of luxury features such as an exercise facility, swimming pool, library, restaurant, a massage parlor, and a music salon. Additionally, it was also used as part of the Sochi 2014 Olympic Games, as it was the ship that sent the Olympic flame to the North Pole as part of the festivities. As a result, it's clear that the 50 Let Pobody certainly is a special ship. Number 3. The S.A. Alguhaz II while many ships on this list were made in order to support shipping, the S.A. Algahaz II has a very different objective. Ordered in November of 2009 and completed in April of 2012, this ship serves both as a research vessel and supply ship for existing South African research centers in Antarctica. Created by STX Finland for a price of about $170 million, the ship is in the possession of the South African Department of Environmental Affairs. Now, the ship itself is capable of breaking ice that is as much as one meter thick at a speed of five knots, with the ship being powered by four six-cylinder, 4,000-horsepower Watsula diesel-generating sets and a diesel-electric powertrain with two four-and-a-half-megawatt propulsion motors that are attached to a four-and-a-half-meter pitch propeller. As a result of this operating power, it has a range of 28,000 kilometers and can reach speeds as high as 16 knots. Yet what really makes this ship impressive is its onboard facilities. Most notably, the ship itself has built-in instruments that measure full-scale ice loads, with these instruments being used by students from Finnish and South African universities in order to conduct research. As a result, due to it primarily being used by researchers and students, it has accommodations for up to 100 passengers. And luckily for them, the S.A. Algaz II allows them to sail in style. Featuring facilities such as a gym, library, business center, and a 100-seat auditorium, passengers truly have all the amenities that would befit a long voyage at sea. And due to the ship's eight permanent and six containerized laboratories for different fields of marine, environmental, biological, and climate research, they can remain productive while on board. As a result, it's clear that the S.A. Algas II is nothing if not impressive. Number 2. The Yamal Continuing the trend of Russian icebreakers on this list is the Yamal. Now, construction of the ship began in 1986, and it was officially registered for service in 1992. Unsurprisingly, her main purpose is to keep shipping lanes open through her icebreaking abilities. And this is done thanks to the ship's impressive specs. Like the 50 Let Pobody, it's powered by two 170-megawatt OK-900A OK nuclear reactors and two 27.6-megawatt steam turbo generators, allowing it to reach a maximum speed of 20.6 knots despite it weighing in at a staggering 23,000 tons. Due in part to its unique double hull, when combined with its strong propulsion, the ship can easily break through 2.3 meter thick ice, with 5 meters said to be its maximum. However, if reports are to be believed, the breakage of relatively small 9 meter ridges has been documented. As a result, the ship is highly sought after for several other uses beyond simple ship lane clearance. Primarily, the ship also has a second role in acting as a cruise ship for Arctic expeditions. 
able to fit 100 passengers in 50 two-person cabins. The ship's amenities include a large dining room, library, passenger lounge, auditorium, volleyball court, gymnasium, heated indoor swimming pool, sauna, and infirmary. However, outside of cruise ship expectations, it's also seen use as a transport vehicle for Russian research stations, having taken part in two operations known as North Pole 36 and North Pole 37. The ship carried drifting ice stations filled with explorers, dogs, and hundreds of pounds of cargo to their Arctic locations, and eventually transported them back once their research missions were over. As a result, it's clear that this ship is truly an invaluable asset. Number 1. The Arctica Although it has not entered service, the Arctica promises to be the most powerful icebreaking ship in the world in the near future. Commissioned by the Russian Navy, it's the lead ship of Project 22220, which is essentially Russia's framework to create the world's most powerful fleet of nuclear icebreakers. Now, the staggeringly high $1.16 billion contract to build the ship was awarded to the state-backed United Shipbuilding Corporation on August 3rd of 2012, and they began construction at St. Petersburg Baltic Shipyard on November 1st of that year. Now, the ship itself is set to make use of nuclear energy and will be powered by an onboard nuclear power plant that consists of two 175-megawatt RITM-200 pressurized water reactors and two 36-megawatt turbo generators. These will work in conjunction with three 6.2-meter-long propellers that are powered by several 27,000-horsepower electric motors to produce about 60 megawatts of propulsion power. This combined force will allow the ship, which weighs in at a monstrous 33,500 tons, to break ice that is as much as 2.8 meters thick at a continuous speed of about 1.5 to 2 knots. However, the ship has run into several issues during construction. The first came in July of 2017, when Russian President Vladimir Putin had to push back the ship's completion date due to delays related to the Crimean crisis in Ukraine which had forced the company to order parts from a number of Russian firms rather than the Ukrainian ones that they ordered from initially. Then, in February of 2020, it was reported that the propulsion motor on the starboard shaft had failed due to a short circuit, and as a result, a 300-ton motor had to be replaced. When you further consider that the issues with the manufacturing of its steam turbines has caused construction to be delayed even further, we believe that it may be quite some time before we see the Arctica in action. That's all we have for you today, everyone, and thank you all for watching. Let us know in the comments down below which icebreaker you thought was the most impressive. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and smash that notification button so that you never miss another one of our videos. Until next time.